right, uh, back on with the mystery taste test. This is beer number five, or six. You take it out here. Oh, man. Beer number six, so the tag says. Let's see, let me hold it up to the camera again. Once again, a nice little pretty uh, Christmas tree. <laughs> so we'll set that down. And I just saw that the caddy, the actual caddy that, that the beers came in here, a cute little caddy, has its own opener. So why don't I use that? Because I can't do it one-handed, perhaps. Maybe that's why I don't do it. But I did, and I got it that time. So the bottle's open. Mystery beer number six. Let's go on with the pour. Oh, here we go. Ooh, the color looks like a pale ale. Something like that. Let's see, we'll get a little carbonation going there. Down the throat of the bottle, she's clear. No distinct smells are sticking out from the bottle for me right off the bat. Of course, like I say, I'm the worst out there, so. But there you go. There's a little, uh, that's the little caddy that the six uh, mystery beer taste test came in. It's cute. The answer sheet is still laying over on the side there. You got a roaring fire going here. It's three degrees outside. There goes my dog, King Cavalier, Mr. Rupert. So here's the beer. Looks like a pale ale right up front. Oh, I got to switch hands. I got a uh, bursitis in the shoulder really bad. So why don't we use it? She's crystal clear as a, as a lager would be. Wow, the smell is just, uh, to me, like any other beer. I'm not picking nothing out of there. No, nothing special standing out there. Nice and clear. Carbonation, very little. This is going to be another one of those Marzins or something. Let's get in on the taste test on the an actual uh, palate, see what it tastes like. Okay. I've had this before. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Sam Adams something. I've had this before. I know I have. Hmm. <clears throat> Definitely had this before. I, I couldn't tell you what it is. Like I say, I'm not good at, at this. Not good at this at all. I remember it not being one, maybe a rusty chain from Flying Bison, or doesn't matter what company, but man, I can pick out the stouts and the porters and that, and the coffee taste and stuff. Nothing on this. Hmm. I say she's clear as a bell. I'm going to have to go with some sort of a pale ale. I'm going to write that down right now on my sheet. Pale ale. Farm Pale Ale. I'm going to give the wife a taste of this. She's not going to tell me what she thinks, though. I just want to let her see if she thinks she's tasted this before. <clears throat> We've had that before. I know we had, yeah. Amber. Are we friends? 
Yeah, like an Irish red or a pale ale. Uh, well, it has a, a unique taste of a... Uh, caramel. You can taste the carrot rub in there. Getting a little fruity flavor. That's my first uh, or third slug. Getting a little bit of fruity thing at the end there. Hmm. I like taking my time on this and, and really trying to pick it apart, but uh, I like to say I'm not that good at it. Maybe I'm tasting a little... Uh, Well, totally lost on this one. Uh, farm ale, pale ale, farm ale. I think they're the same. I'll try to go with the ABV because <laughs> I got nothing else to say here. I'll say it's about a 5 5, -0, 5 .0 ABV. We can talk about the SRMs. I don't have a sheet in front of me, but that probably come in at about a, a I don't know, maybe a don't have the sheet in front of me, like I say, maybe 20. I don't know. Don't have it. Ah. Not sure what this is. Oh, he's back. So back to the last little bit of taste test. I still haven't looked. Don't have a clue. I'm, I'm smelling a little fruity smells in here. Could be the hop. Farm ale, pale ale, lager, uh, five, five point something on ABU. Meh. Might buy it again. I'm really shocked. I have no clue. All right. I need a sheet. She's going to hand me the sheet here because number six, I'm stumped on it too. What did you say it was? I come up with a pale ale, farm, farm, farm ale, like a lager, fruity well, right flavor. I'm right on some point. Blue Point Toasted Lager. Okay, we got the lager point down. Blue Point Toasted Lager. It's an amber lager of Vienna. Okay, it's probably what I was tasting there throwing me off on the fruity part. So, yeah, uh, um, the Vienna malt is, is what's probably throwing me off here. I'm going to read this so I take another taste of it. <clears throat> oh. I don't use Vienna malt that, that often, so that's probably exactly what I'm tasting. That's too much to read. Back to the biscuit. Meh. I didn't get a biscuit before. No, it's that Vienna malt. That is the Vienna malt. Of course, they don't tell you what, 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 yeah, they don't tell you the hops. Get online and look this stuff up, but I, you know, I, I can't I care less. I like making my own beer. I, I, I would compare this to my, uh... Chlorophyll breakdown. Ah, oh, no, no. Not loving it that much. Back to buying it again. Would, would I keep it around? No, I'm not going to buy it again. I, I like it. I, I would drink it. <laughs> if it's free. I don't seem to be uh, too much of a Viana type of guy. And I'm not sure if that's what Miller uses or not. Got to look that kind of stuff up. So yeah, that, that, there you are, uh, brew number six there. I'll put a better look at it. Blue Point Toasted Lager. I, I, Vienna. Kraus, empty cup. I gotta go get one of my out of the tap over there. Son of a bitch. Ah, <laughs> Vienna malts and stuff. Holy shit, I took, I took that one right.